But that's the challenge, and that's easily said, but not easily done, right? No, and I think, yeah, I think that's why, you know, sometimes with some of that in the dialogue, you you need to go through the course of having therapy, Mm. because sometimes you need to do more than kind of just think, okay, there's the, there's the inner dictator, Mm. there's the internal Bart Simpson. Yeah. Because we can also give you a voice of that internal dialogue um, a different quality, mm-hmm. which is, leads on from what you've said. Mm-hmm. So you might think, okay, you've got that voice that says, oh, I'm never going to do well at this. And you think, okay, who's a cartoon character that when you hear them, you know, it just makes you smile at? Like Bart Simpson. Yeah, so and so it'd be like, okay, I'm never going to do well at this. I can't do Bart Simpson. <laughs> but, but it's sort of like hearing it as that character. So when you hear it... Mm-hmm. It just kind of, it takes away the meaning because that internal critic, usually when you're saying those things to yourself, you're not saying them in a supportive tone of voice and a loving tone of voice. It's in that sort of, you're never going to be any good at this. Mm-hmm. But if you give it a, a different tonality, it takes away some of that quality. So think about how would this sound differently if it was said slowly or mm, fast? Exactly. If it was said like Mickey Mouse? Or in a funny accent. Yeah, in a funny accent. Mm. Yeah. Or sometimes another technique uh, I sometimes suggest is that you sing it. Yeah. You sing the, I'm never gonna be good enough, something like that. Yeah, yeah absolutely. And that's another technique that's uh, talked about in acts as well. Yeah. So, you know, I think uh, Stephen Hayes, the founder of Act, I've, I saw him talking.